I grew up in the capital of the Confederacy and attended an all-girls K-12 through school with a brother school down the street. Every spring, both schools jointly list educational trips offered during the week prior to spring break. I was excited when I saw a trip to Gettysburg Battlefield listed. As a history geek, I had always dreamed of walking the hollowed grounds of the battlefield that became the turning point of the war. Little did I know that Gettysburg was to be an ill-fated trip for me, not because of the snow that fell that weekend, but because I was a girl. While cohorts were being assigned, I was called down to the advisor's office to confirm that I was aware my presence alone made the trip co-ed. I assured her that I would not be uncomfortable and that despite the demographics, I was still interested in the trip. Each program starts the same way attending classes for several weeks prior in preparation for a more meaningful experience. During those weeks, I walked down the tree-lined street to our brother's school for the cohort class. One day, a group of boys were walking in front of me talking loudly. I could hear them questioning each other about the girl who signed up for Gettysburg and the audacity of the school for letting her attend the trip. For the duration of the course, the two male teachers were cool and indifferent towards me. After viewing the movie Gettysburg, we had a class discussion during which one of the male teachers asked a question. I knew the answer. I raised my hand, and the teacher looked at me blankly and said, Come on, boys, are you going to let a girl answer this one? Not knowing why they were so threatened by my participation, I wondered if they pictured me picnicking on the grounds of Gettysburg like women did during the war. Were they afraid I would reenact Pickett's Charge with my old Barbie dolls and My Little Ponies? The day before we were scheduled to leave for Gettysburg, it snowed nearly two inches, enough to grind Richmond to a halt. That morning, I received the call that I was not allowed to ride on the boys' bus, and my female chaperone was uncomfortable driving to Gettysburg in the snow. The school assured me that I could have a meaningful experience here in my hometown, the capital of the Confederacy. I met the chaperone, and every day she hauled me from one museum to the next. Taking pictures of me holding muskets and swords, I felt foolish, but she was kind. We forged a bond that week. For the first time during my experience, I felt a strong kinship with a female, and I forged my first adult friendship. Everything I wanted to learn from my Gettysburg experience, I did, and even more than the boys. I learned from this experience that while the three-day battle was intensely devastating, Lincoln's sentiments ultimately triumphed. I learned so much more about the battle and life than I anticipated, and I was propelled into womanhood. The real world is not as idyllic and supportive as my all-girls education. 